my on yeah hey everybody it's Karen from R Paul acrylics how are you happy Monday uh, hope you're well uh, today I'm gonna do a couple Dutch pours I haven't done in quite some time I'm feeling a little rusty so we'll see what happens I have two 11 by 14 canvases to try them out on and before we get started let me show you the results from the last video and I gotta say I was all proud because I took the painting down and put it under my tarp and it sat there for the last three days nothing happened didn't spill anything didn't drop anything I was like yay and I had quite the shock when I took it out from under the tarp because the whole thing disintegrated so uh, I found it very interesting in the comments that some of you were like yep I don't really like that paint it uh, it splits and others were like I love that paint it's great uh, well, it split all to hell. Where is it? For me. So it was this one. Very colorful, very happy. And huh, where do I start? Let's start here on the ends. I want to see if you can see right there. All split to hell. I mean, literally everywhere. Everywhere. In the colors here, in the middle, split, split. It's a splitsville. It's like a bad divorce. It really is. Uh, I couldn't believe it. Honestly, I just could not believe it. There are so many torn fragments. Like if you look over here, like in the cells, I don't know if it's going to show up, but like there, it's just a hot, hot, look at the cells. It's just a freaking hot mess. And the thing of it is, is it was pretty. It was a pretty colorful, happy little carnival like painting all shot to hell um this is really like literally i caught my breath when i pulled it out like i was like Ugh! i couldn't believe it so um but since i'm a glutton for punishment you get them dusty uh i'm using two of the pbo colors again today and we'll see what happens maybe it was a fluke maybe didn't like my pouring medium recipe i don't know today i'm using nothing but flow tour and water so we'll see what happens but really maybe that's what i get for being cocky at that last video i don't know <sighs> let's get let's get down and do something else so i might turn this so this is another 11 by 14. this is an stay there that looks pretty good So this is an Arteza canvas, I'm giving those a go. already have one uh, layer of white down already. Colors I'm using today, as I mentioned, two of the PBO Studio acrylics. I have the iridescent orange yellow and the red blue. I have my favorite shade of purple, which is the Windsor Violet by Windsor Newton. And then I have some Artist Lock Professional Series Indian Yellow. And then I also have a little bit of the Windsor Newton Burnt Sienna. So pretty much fall colors, a little bit of pizzazz. Five colors plus my white. And uh, as Melly D would say, let's go for it. So let me think of my orders here. Let's start off. So yeah, nothing but um, Floetrol, little Floetrol and water, very thin, very thin, but still has a little bit of body. I um, always want a little bit of body, so I'm not uh, disintegrating the pigments. So it seems pretty good. And where do I want to do it? We'll kind of go a little off center and start right there. I'll do a little bit of that. Move me a little bit of the Sienna. Some purple. red color that's pretty oh the whole thing's pretty all right let me uh let me 
maybe just drizzle a little bit of white or pour some white around this. Kind of like that. Maybe a little drop or two in the middle there. Something like that. And throw in some gloves. Sneaking this in before my daughter gets home. Then, you know, take her yet again to the ice skating rink. And then I have a FaceTime class today. So that's exciting. All right, Let's see what happens. See if I remember how to do this. I'm gonna put my hair dryer on cool and kind of low. I don't have medium, it's either low or high. Let's start with low. for the noise and give that a torch I feel like I want more color though so, where is my torch I've lost my torch no I had it out because I was resonating last night and I hate being disorganized oh there it is it fell over I knew it was nearby oh, lots of pretty cells though It's lacking some pizzazz. It needs a little more pizzazz, definitely. Mm. I kind of messed that up there, didn't I? This way, a second. Mm, that part's better there. Now I need more color here going out. This part's great. Not happy with this part. And I probably didn't use enough paint because the canvas is a little bigger than I was thinking. So. Let's go, let's go with the yellow on the bottom here. And a spot of orange. And the purple. Let's do this red color. Let's see what happens. Hard to chat when you're doing these though, right? Because the hair dryer. I definitely need to take uh, some of that down here off the bottom. I can't get my glove on. <laughs> Technical difficulties. All right, there we go. Let me flip this around again. Let me go this way. That's pretty. Leave that. I 
like the little tendrils. Of fades off. This is kind of off center. I don't know. Let's give it a torch. I'm not sure if I like that or not. I might though. All right, let me stare at it a second. I love this. I love the uh, movement. I'm really happy with this top part. I like how this fades away. I like how this fades away. I feel like if I could get another little burst of color right here coming down, I would still have negative space everywhere. Um, and it would balance it out because right now this it's pretty this way and I like this because it's close to the top but this is like too too bare am I in frame yeah I'm crooked I know but so let me make my little puddle right here and just go that way just a little bit I actually you know these are all just personal preference and what you like. Um, I kind of like these hard lines here because to me that looks like a petal. Um, some people might like them blown out more or a little more blurry. I kind of like them, what am I not gonna say? Like a hard edge in the middle and then soft on the outside. That's usually my preference. This might be a little hard right there. stare at that. That's going to get uh, blown away anyway because that's where I'm going to put my next little puddle. So let's do, let's do the red on the bottom this time. Just a little bit. And what are we missing? A little bit of the orange. I'm going to put the purple on top, I think. There's my yellow. Just a all of the purple because that should be plenty of paint I actually like it like it'd be cool if I could leave that white spot but get it to go. That's better though. I'm going to fix that hard line in the middle. I'm liking that composition much better. Turn my glove back on. Just to soften that up right there. Turn around. Why are you trying to reach over, Karen? You turn it around.
that does look like petals sitting on top of petals there, right though. Huh. Let me give that a torch. Yeah, I like that hard. I like those hard lines right there. I do. Should I? I'm not touching it. I'm happy with that. Yep. Uh, maybe blow this all the way off. Right there. The rest all look nice, soft. I love that. Yep. Should I? I'll get you guys down close. Um, when I'm done, let me do the second one. Let me find some cookie cutters. And I'm just gonna, ooh, you know what? Hmm. Let me, I really need a studio, y'all. Like, so bad. I need a studio so, so bad. Get my cup of water. Get the hair dryer there. I gotta put this somewhere where the hair dryer is not gonna get it. Bear with me one sec. Move all my colors. And we'll stick this up in the corner because I'll be blowing that way since I'm a lefty. Give me a little sneak peek though. Yeah. Love the colors. Colors are great. Soft, yet bold. Like, like a wine bottle description. <laughs> All right. Canvas number two. Same size. Pour my white. Give me a good stir. Should be plenty. Oh yeah, I'm fast moving too. Wee! Down there. I don't like to blow it. There we go. Plenty of white, big old bubble. All right, time for fresh gloves. All right, number two, I kind of like that off-center thing. Let's do that again. Mine frame, oh yeah. Let's go here with the bird sienna. And just go. I'm trying to make this puddle a little bit bigger, hopefully, so I don't have to do it three times like that last one. Let's see. Purple. And the orange. Because I don't necessarily have to have them be all matchy-matchy. The colors will tie them together. Enough. second I just splooged my uh, black my uh, skirt let me get that off real quick all right good to go 
go. Let me see. Not a lot, a lot of white right there. I don't know if I should give that another shot. Let's torch it first. Yeah, I don't like uh, how I did with the hair dryer. I was gonna say I didn't like my blow job, but I was trying to have some decorum, which reminds me, you guys totally had me in stitches with your comments on the last video when I was talking about the guys sitting with their legs far apart because I was trying to be like all ladylike. And <laughs> you guys were like, it's called this. And it's because men have, you know, different anatomy. And <laughs> I was eating dinner and I was in stitches. I'm like, I know. I was trying to have some decorum. Oh my gosh. I was busting the gut though. You guys were so funny. All right, let's blow this out a little more. Wasn't TMI actually. <laughs> Whoa, what are you gonna do? Oh gosh, I'm gonna give myself the giggles. I'm gonna lose like all kinds of subscribers now, you know that, right? Because I'm being all inappropriate. Uh, there's people write to me all the time, and they're like, You said damn, I don't like swearing, I'm unsubscribing right now. I'm like, Okay. Uh, Anyway, uh, let me give this a torch. I love it. I think there's not too much I want to do to this right there. But I feel like I need something else down there now, right? Um, Got some really cool lace in there that I'm just trying to uh, open up a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. Leave leave that alone. Just another little one right here, coming maybe down off the side instead of straight down. That's too hard of a line there. That's better. All right, yeah, something right here coming down. I'm gonna leave this side alone. And, uh, yep, I just want it there. I don't want it to be symmetrical. I feel like I have a lot of purple and orange. So let's go with uh, a little bit of red. Sienna. That should do it. Well, I guess a dollop of, gotta have a dollop of purple. All right. I don't think I need a lot of white either. Something like that. Some fresh gloves. Oh my gosh, where do you see the lacing in there? Like a part of me wants to blow it out, but it would just, it would destroy the lacing. I'm staring at the uh, first one. I'm really, it's always good to have eyes off and then come back, you know, with fresh eyes. And I'm really, really liking it. So that's good. All right. Let's put it on low this time. Sorry for the noise. I like that. 
turn it around. You make it so hard on yourself. Oh, I like that as a big petal. Maybe not turn around. Get a little closer. If I take it out of your frame for a second, I'm sorry. Give me a second. That's better. Mm -hmm. Take some of that off there. Let's give that a torch. I like that plane though, I really do. And I like that hard edge right there. like in the composition still loving this I like this but that looks that looks dumb that looks dumb right there I feel like I need to do the whole thing yeah because this is just like hanging out there in no man's land yep I like the colors like the cells there hold on stone frame yeah let me see if I get rid of some of this or do I, I like it too much I don't like this for sure. That needs to just be white. No, you don't like this either. Yep, already looking better. Yep. Turn this around again and blow some of that out. made it worse. You totally did. I'm going to do the whole thing. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, gosh. Such a goober, man. Goober, goober, goober. Back 
better job this time. Where's that spoon? Let me spoon some white off my counter. And put that right there. A little bit right there. Just a little bit right there. out a little bit. Hi, Bear. I'll be done in like five minutes, okay? I'm filming. I'll be done in five. Yay. Yay. Go get ready for skating, okay? She Thanks, hon. Oh, is that All right. Let me give this a tour. Still got our cool lacing. I don't know about this blob of orange, but let me see. Yeah, like that. Oh yeah. Some cell action in mo and do it right there. That one too. Oh gosh. I must have had my consistency right because as soon as I touch it with the torch, the cells kind of explode. Oh yeah, totally happy with that. It doesn't look exactly like a flower, but it has flower something. <laughs> um Yeah. Oh no, I like that purple too. See, I like it when it does that. I like that too. The negative space on the corner. I'm just getting super picky right now. Ooh, do I like that white there? Nope. That's better. Just, oh no, now you don't like that. You just screwed that up. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm driving myself nuts. Turn us around again. Almost there. All I need. Let me stare. Hmm. I feel like I'm rushing, so I'm going to force myself to stop, take a second, and stare. Where's my 
my purple. Where's the purple? I don't even purple showing up. I want something to match these hard lines. Like I have them up here. I feel like, like I have them over here. So I need some over here. So that's what I'm doing, in case you're wondering. Like, what is she doing? What kind of nonsense is this? This is me working on the composition a bit. And then when it looks hard like that, all you have to do really is just like kind of dip it into the paint and it'll disappear. Those little things make a big difference. It's amazing. It really is amazing. I'm just giving that one a double. And I see one more spot. And then I think, oh. Can you see? This is how rusty I am at these. I need to do them more often. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'm gonna grab this one right here and take it down too. And have that one match up to this purple line. Something like that. Anything I'm gonna do right now? I'm, I'm like, I know I keep threatening that I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to uh, grab a clean stick. I'm gonna take some off there and add white because I don't like it blurry right there. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit of white right there. Not a lot, but just something like right here. Let's get rid of this. Yep. Yep. And pour a little white. And give it a look. And a little blue right there. Soften it up. And that looks too hard. You guys are going to be telling me I'm too damn picky, I know. I'm still not happy with the one spot, but I have to go. Maybe if I tilt a little bit, we can get everything to come over. Just enough. Oh, this might work. Hold on. To pour a little bit off. And then go back. Because you can tilt these. And a little bit this way. Oh, yeah. Well, let me let me change the orientation so I can stare. So now it should it's like upside down for you guys. I'm gonna say ta-da. 
I'm gonna take take my kid to skating and I'll probably come back. I love everything except for this one little spot and that's what I'll come back and fix. So let me get you guys, let me wipe off my hands. Let me get you guys down uh, for a look. And then when you see the dry results, this part will definitely look a little different. I'm probably just gonna do something right, just this right here, this little triangle. Um, I'm gonna futz with it and then leave it alone. Uh, love the colors. Great cells, great lacing here. The uh, tilting helped a lot. They're very different from each other. All right, I think my hands are clean enough to touch my phone. Let me get you down without turning you off. So here's the orientation of this guy. It's gonna look more like that. That's how that one's going to look. And then here's the center part of that, which is all kinds of amazing. And I love this corner. Looks fantastic. I'm really happy with this section here. Like I said, that part right there, that's what I'm going to fix. And I'll be good. And then the other guy over here, so this is the orientation like that. Um, I love that it doesn't really look like a flower. It's more abstract and I'm one for the hard lines. So, uh, if you like these softer, um, you know, there's, I think we all do these, all the artists, there's a ton of artists that do Dutch pours, go check them out. Um, this is just how I like mine. Kind of like that. And... Yeah, this is a long video. Oh my gosh. 43 minutes. <laughs> uh, I can never do anything fast. What can I say? Uh, where's the dot? Thanks for watching and your support. Um, I hope you like these. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're new to my channel or you're a lurker, please consider subscribing. I appreciate it. Shout out to Kathleen for sponsoring me. Um, much appreciated keeping me in paint. There's links to my Facebook page, Instagram account, my PayPal me, et cetera, et cetera, in the description. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, all right, take care. Bye.